Guess what time it is? Shut up. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. And boy, do we have a lot of <laughs> shoutouts. Okay, let's see if I can get this all in nice and smoothly. Ha, uh, Shalene TV, Shalene TV had to start a new channel. That's her new channel. So, shout out to your new channel. Go by and check her out. Pammy and Dior Clinton, hey. welcome back. We missed you guys. You still got your pictures up on the board. Yeah, hopefully uh, all the broken bones and mm. bruises and everything are all healed. Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> Our three B's, welcome to the neighborhood, and they have a channel you guys should go by and check out. Cool Mikester seven seven seven. He is Jess Lucero's son. Welcome to the neighborhood, and he also has a channel you guys should go by and check out. Kayla Lewis, welcome to the neighborhood. Margaret Tet. Clevenger, welcome to the neighborhood. Graham Van Duvet, welcome to the neighborhood. Daniel Calic Badar, welcome to the neighborhood. Fun speaking with you on Periscope all the time. Yeah. Uh, Sylvia Phillips, hope, faith, and love. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. She has a channel you guys should go check out. And Chanel Lenardis. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, so that's all the welcomes and the welcome backs. Now we have birthdays. Okay, so we have a lot of cancer birthdays this month. So let's get to that. Not only did we have Kevin's birthday on the 5th, we had Tanya Ray's daughter, Mackenzie, on the 5th. Miss Mary had twin nieces' birthdays on the 5th. And now we had uh, Tanya Longley's niece, Christina North's birthday was July 5th. Happy belated birthday to you, Christina. Popular day. Yeah. Graham Van Duvet, or Duvet, Happy belated birthday. He was June 29th, but still cancer. Tracy Quick, happy birthday to you on July 7th. Cameo Vlogs, we already said happy birthday to her in another vlog. She is also a cancer. Jess Lucero, happy birthday to your dad on July 4th and your brother on July 6th. Jeez, that's a lot yeah. of birthdays. Yeah! And we're not done. Happy birthday, Cat Larkin, on July 8th. That's today. Yay! So, wow, is that a lot of birthdays. And that's only the people we know about. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, I have a shout-out to a very special channel that is trying to reach... 1,000 subs, and I think you guys really need to go and check her out. Her name is Jessa J. That's J E S S A J A Y all together. She's at 871 subs, and once she hits a thousand subs, she's going to start daily vlogging. So make sure you guys go by, check her out, give her a thumbs up, and show her some love. Okay, and then we need some thoughts and prayers. Tanya Ray, her town is having lots of fires. Ooh. So it's really, really smoky where she lives, and the fires are very close to her house. The kids are away, and she's home all by herself, and she's very scared. So if we can all send positive thoughts and prayers to Tanya Ray right now, we would greatly appreciate that. Okay. My question last week was, if you could max out your credit card on one store, what would it be, who would it be on, and why? And I only picked three 
people to read this time because this is a big shout out list. <laughs> okay, so Justina P. She picked Pet Smart on her puppy. Let him pick out everything he wanted. And if it was to be on her, she picked out Bed, Bath, and Beyond for everything for her bedroom and bathroom. Renee Carey. Here's a girl after my own heart. Home Depot or Lowe's, so she can get everything to fix up her home inside and out. Yeah, I, I like that idea myself. And Susie here. Michaels, because she's a paper crafter and she loves to crochet. And you know what? After you get and spend all your money there and do all your crafting, you can give those away as gifts. So yeah, you're giving it to other people. Megan would be with you on that one. So, that's those answers. Where would you spend max, what, what store would you max out your credit card on? Uh, it would probably be Home Depot. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I know what store you'd max it out on. What? Any Halloween store. <laughs> He's probably right. <laughs> If I could go to a spirit Halloween and just buy everything in there, I would do it. I would do it. Okay. My question for this week is, what TV shows would you be embarrassed to let people know you watch and why? Boom, boom, boom. It's time for a neighborhood community credit roll beep 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 honk honk okay so last week was was uh, fourth of july uh we did the movie uncle sam 1996 it has uh, isaac hayes and pj souls in it and it was filmed in love her that way just to roll your block Boomer, he's the star! It was filmed in Laverne. It was filmed in Laverne, which uh, I actually used to live in Laverne. In fact, I was in Laverne in 1996, and I don't remember this event happening. Um, it had, um, they filmed it there, and the, uh, the question was, uh, why won't uh, the city of Laverne ever let anybody make a movie ever again in the city of Laverne. And the reason is that they, they, uh, the movie company had set up an explosion that uh, they didn't get to actually set off until 3 in the morning. And they didn't tell any of the neighbors that it was going to happen. So it uh, totally freaked out all the neighbors and they all called the police and uh, crazy stuff like that. So. Yeah, that would be scary. So, those who got that one right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Ibis92882, and Bambi Woohoo! Now, tonight's question has to do with House on Haunted Hill. Now, there's the original version, 1959, William Castle. And then there's the 1999 version that was actually done by William Castle's daughter. Um, and the, there is only one character from the original that actually shows up in the 1999 version and the rest of the characters. Who is that character? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I'll tell you next week. All right. <laughs> there you have it. There's your trivia question for today. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. As you all know, there's something fishy about the Haunted High Rise. Stay <laughs> tuned for that. Fishy. Yeah, something fishy. Everybody's wanting to know what's going on over there. Anyway, go by and check it all out. And we, we will see you 